Hello, welcome to my video. This is an art journal page in my little 8x4 handmade art journal. I love this one. Here are some pages I've done previously and I'm going to be working on this page. I like the fact I've got a bit of sewing on the left hand side there. That's great. I'm just putting some papers behind the pages I'm working on to protect previous pages and forthcoming pages from getting paint splashed on them. I do this with most of my pages. In case you've ever seen seen me with some strange looking bits of paper, now you know why. <laughs> And the paint I'm going to be using today is the gouache again. I've decided um, I like it. It's the Lascaux gouache, so it dries with a lovely matte finish. But also it's got a little bit of acrylic medium in. So I've got some white, I've got two yellows, I've got two reds and two blues. And I've got, that's the ultramarine blue, that's the primary blue. And I've got a bit of black as well. I don't normally use black. I don't usually use paints grey, but for some reason I've got black in this colour, this um, brand. Right, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to mix, here we are, I've mixed some of the ultramarine blue in with the black. So I've got a very, very dark blue here, a midnight blue. Which I'm just going to do at the top corner and uh, the bottom left corner. Something very strange happens with this um, this painting as it progresses, and you'll see it, you may see it before I did as well. Um, I titled this video Unexpected Guests and that's exactly what turns up in this video. You will see what I mean as it progresses. I found it very strange, especially at the moment. And so now I'm putting on some more of the, um, just the primary blue and I'm blending it in with the colour that's down already. So that it's got a nice soft transition there. It's a little bit difficult to get the paint around the sewing, but I manage it. You just have to work it in a bit more. And now I've added a tiny bit of white to the primary blue. Again, working it into those stitches. Now, when I started this um, art journal page, I had no idea where I was going with this. And the funny thing is, it told me all by itself. So now I've added a lot more white into that primary glue, blue, and I'm working that in. The paint's beginning to dry, that's already down there. That's one thing about gouache, it dries very quickly for some reason. I'm not quite sure why, but it does. And I did a little bit of pink in with this, just a very tiny bit. So the blue has warmed up slightly. Holding the page down, it keeps flopping about. Now, I don't know if you can begin to see what I didn't, I wasn't seeing at this stage. But my unexpected guests are beginning to appear. I had no intention of doing this. This happened all by itself. I'm still unaware at this stage. I don't know if you can see it. Let me know about down below if you saw it before I did. So now I'm going to dry that, dried it off screen. And I've gone in with a little bit of the uh, text stencil. This is one of my old prototype ones when I was designing it. I do have a better quality one in my shop, my Etsy shop, link down below. <laughs> and again, I still can't see what eventually shows up and I realise what I'm looking at. I still can't see the unexpected guests, but I don't know if you can see them yet. And so I'm just doing a little bit of my uh, mark making. I'm just using the, the stones that I'm very fond of on the left hand side there. And I'm going in with a lighter blue. And I'm using a roller to apply the paint now. I could use a makeup sponge, but today I need to be a bit quick because I didn't have a lot of time today 
uh, for my art journaling so I needed to hurry up and this is a quick way of getting paint down. In case you're ever, ever in a hurry, get one of these little rollers, they're very useful. So I'm trying to decide how exactly I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it like that. Yes, yeah, so they're just the two inch rollers and they're very useful for art journaling. The four inch rollers are great for larger canvases. I use those on larger pieces. But for art journaling, you need something smaller. And I buy them from Amazon. They're just called two inch sponge rollers, really, if you, if you want to have a look. So that's the left hand side done. And on the right hand side, I've got to do some more mark making. Not that way, I'm going to do it that way. This is one of my favourite mark making tools. I just love this. In fact, it's very useful, small, it's great for the horizontal lines, but I also like it when I have the vertical lines because the vertical lines are like dribbles, but I love it like that as well. So I think it's suddenly at this stage, I'm seeing the unexpected guests and I'm like astonished as a man and as a woman. How amazing is that? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline them so I can see them more clearly. That's the man and that's the woman. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to accentuate that just very slightly, just to make sure that they're clear. I couldn't decide whether to put on features or anything, but I thought I'd leave them as these mysterious shapes. They do have meaning to me. And yes, I was very, um, quite emotional about this. It's quite strange for me, but sometimes you do a piece of artwork and it has a deeper meaning. And this page really did have. So now I'm going in with some, I'm trying to match the ultramarine and black that I've already got down there. And I'm just accentuating these areas to pick them out a bit further and to make sure they're nice and clear. Now, gouache is very opaque, so it's quite easy to cover up what's behind. And sometimes I don't want to do that. I mean, what I would be doing normally with acrylic is I would do a wash. I would add medium to it and um, spread it out that way. With acrylic, with uh, gouache, you add water. But the trouble is, if you add too much water, it disturbs the paint that's underneath. So you have to be careful. So I just went in just gently, did a little bit here and there. I would have liked to have done a wash. If I'd been using acrylics, I would have done. I said, now I'm going in with some of the lighter colour. I'm just pulling that round as well. Just to bring those out a little bit further. There's not a lot that needed to be... Um, that needed to be done really because it's quite clear. Have you ever done an art journal page and something just turned up like this? I don't think I've ever experienced anything like it. Art journaling is a very powerful thing. Your subconscious sometimes comes through whether you want it to or not. So now I've decided I want to do some more um, work, but I don't want to go over the figures. So I'm making a bit of a rough, a very rough mask with some paper. I'm just trying to um, go around the shapes. It doesn't have to be exact. I just want to preserve what I have there as I do some more stenciling. So that's the left hand side. I'm going to just use a little bit of masking tape to very lightly stick it down. One thing I've noticed, and it must be gouache, I've never experienced this before either, masking tape doesn't stick very well to it. <laughs> that's a bit of a shock. I really need to do some experimenting about the thing with uh, gouache and see what you can and can't do. Right, so now I'm going to use my favorite script stencil. I've got a bit of purple paint mixed to the left there. I'm just going to roughly go over that area. And now I'm going to do the same on the right hand side.
very roughly, it doesn't have to be exact, but just enough to protect and preserve the figures, the ghostly figures. And I'm using more masking tape on the left hand side because I don't really want to put anything on the right hand side. Right, and now I've mixed up some more of this purple colour with a bit of white, so it's a little bit more magenta this time. But by the time I've got the roller on it, it darkens it up a bit. And again, I'm going to use the script. A little bit at the top. And I do a little bit at the bottom as well. There. And now I'm just going to put some words on. And I've got the words, art must, must be an expression of love or it is nothing. And that to me is a very powerful art journal page, probably the one of the most meaningful I've done in a long time. I love it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, let me know down below if you saw the figures before I did. Let me know down below if you've ever experienced something like this yourself. I've been very interested to hear. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.